Hey guys, this is Fire from In Depth Gaming, bringing you another game review. This time we're checking out Tech Wars Global Conflict. This game was developed and published by Argus Games and releases on October 21st, 2020. And guess what, guys? This game is free to play, so you don't have to pay a single penny if you don't want to. Uh, and, and the reason I say that is this is a free to play PvP. Isometric style action game with direct control um, that basically puts you in control of mechs. Um, this game kind of gives me a vibe. If you ever played way back early in the Xbox 360 days, a game called Chrome Hounds. Um, it was a choose your faction mech style game with tons of customizations, and you got to really design and build your mechs the way you wanted. Um, and it was really, it's really kind of fun to play. And as somebody who's always wanted Chrome Hounds 2 to come out, it was super teased for a long time. Um, I'm really, really excited that this game is, you know, here and out, and especially that it's free to play. Like, that's awesome. Like, I love not having to pay for games. I think everybody kind of loves that. Um, the way the game works is there's two pseudo factions. Um, there's a Russian faction that gives you a certain type of mechs and loadouts and equipment, as well as a... US faction and you kind of just choose your faction you'll get mechs for both different factions throughout the game and you'll just progress upgrade them and then go into battle and you know kill everybody it's kind of a domination style game there's three control points on the map and you just kind of play through and eliminate the enemy hold control of the points as well as just go as long as you can now the game does feature microtransactions it's kind of expected in a free to play game it uses this currency known as platinum you can use it in the store to buy mechs get special offers, buy weapons, all kinds of things, as well as get premium currency. So if you want to earn like double XP, double credits, just to kind of level and progress up faster, it's kind of up to you if you want to do that. I'm usually not too big into those, but it's one of those to each their own. Um, you can buy these crates to get additional items in the game, which is this platinum in the top right corner, um, as well as your credits and just other currencies that you unlock through progressing to build and craft things. Um, you can earn this platinum just by completing challenges. Um, when you're in the game, let me tab over to the menu, you'll see these challenges. So completing the challenges will allow you to earn platinum, which you can then turn into the crates. So you don't have to pay anything in the game, but if you want to, it's kind of you're each your own. Um, for me, when it comes to free-to-play games, you know, other Battle Royale games out there that don't really cost anything, you know, this isn't a Battle Royale game, but using it, using it as an example, um, I don't mind spending money in these free-to-play games because they're giving us the game for free, and it's kind of you pay your own price in. So, you know, I'm probably going to spend a little bit of money in Tech Wars Global Conflict. I might buy some crates, you know, show the developers some love, but it's kind of use your judgment there. Like I said, this game is free-to-play. I think this game would have been a nice, you know, honestly... 20-ish dollar game like I'll probably put about 20 bucks into it um, that being said you know being free it's another amazing bonus um, I encourage you guys to go download it in the Xbox store as soon as you can play um, what's really nice about the game is the maps and art style and everything is actually really well done and really beautiful as well as the controls are not overly complicated You'll use both analog sticks. You'll kind of use your right analog stick to aim, left analog stick to move. You can sprint around the map. But one thing that I really, really appreciate in this game is the environment can be destroyed. Um, it might take you a little bit of damage, but the developers basically made every single item in this game destructible. Um, they want you to be able to really interact with the map and really play and progress as you know, best as you can. Um, you'll end up in a fair amount of fights throughout the game. Um, as you navigate the map, uh, trying to find enemies. Um, it's really nice as the game actually lets you know where the enemies are when they've been spotted by your teammates. So it's kind of not, you know, you don't have to grind your way and hunt forever. Um, they'll be indicated by red markers, you're always a blue marker, and then your teammates will be the green markers, and so on. Fairly standard in games. Um, as far as the fighting and combating, you'll see here in just a second, we're going to walk up to our teammate here who's already in a fight. Um, it's not hard. It's not complicated. They're not difficult. It's basically just using your triggers and buttons, as well as your special abilities. If you look in the bottom right of your screen, you know, we'll launch a missile up here in just a second, and it'll going to blow this guy up. And you kind of just micromanage your different abilities while trying not to die and last as long as you can. Um, you can heal up over time, returning to base. Um, as well as just, you know, sometimes you can get some heal points. Um, the game is very, very big on, you know, high ground. You know, 
getting that element of surprise on your enemies, but also knowing which mechs you can and can't fight. Um, there's going to be mechs that are more like scoutish like and mechs that are more tankish um, compared to games in the past. So you kind of really have to pick and choose your battle and know when to get out. So as you can tell right now, our health bar is kind of fairly depleted. So we're going to run back to base, let our two teammates go try to take care of those other guys and try to heal up. Um, but what's really nice is like you're not going to constantly be playing in the same style of maps. You know, right now we're in a desert. Um, you could later then be in a pseudo... Um, trying to think of the best way to word it. Um, like city, you can have a lot of nice diverse environments, and it's really kind of nice to not just have like a same copy pasted style map. The maps to me do seem a little big at times. Um, it can take some time to get in and out of fights, especially when you do have to go back and heal. Um, and progress around so that is maybe one of the little more drawbacks to the game for me And then sometimes you'll encounter as you can see Sharon here Struggling to just navigate around the map like falling down giant sand dunes or just you know Really finding your way to getting getting your footing so to speak But outside of that like the game isn't you know overly difficult by any means It's just kind of learning and understanding what your mech can and can't do Learning what fights to kind of go in and out of and where to push yourself and not push yourself. But I think that's kind of fair to say in almost any shooter game, you know, pick and choose your battles and work what you can. As you can see right here, we're about to walk into multiple, multiple mechs that are a lot bigger than us. We're going to get out of here. Eh, doesn't look quite look like we quite made it out. Um, but yeah, this is Tech Wars, guys. The graphics are super solid. I think the developers did a great job with this game. Um, there is a really nice, you know, kind of music soundtrack. It really helps merge you into the game. We kind of got it turned down right now just for the sake of the review. Um, but, you know, the audio is done really on point. The graphics are done on point. The gameplay is really, really easy. Um, it is a little bit of a complex menu system, but the developers did a fantastic job kind of explaining and walking you through everything in the game like nothing seems overly too complicated um they take you step at a time through the menus and really try to help set you up for success in the game while you know not making it you know the most easy game in the world because to be honest these aren't meant to be super easy games if you played games like chrome hounds in the past you know that game had hundreds and thousands of combinations mechs and everything and it wasn't easy but it was a ton of fun. Um, it doesn't quite have like the war style online aspect as you know Chrome Hounds did if you ever played that. But it plays really well. You can play the game with friends. You know you don't have to feel like you're just buying another game and playing by yourself. Um, but yeah, outside of that, you know the achievements. This will not be a quick easy achievement completion. If you are looking for a quick easy achievement completion, this is not the game for you to pick up. If you are looking for a really fun, really engaging mech tech style game tech wars is definitely the game to pick up plus it helps that it it's free like who doesn't love free games i mean yeah but aside from that guys i as far as giving this game like a review i'm gonna give tech wars a solid 8 out of 10 um it's got a really good thing going for it but the, for the fact that it doesn't cost anything you know that's a super big plus for me as well as like just the art style is great i love the destructible environment I love everything that's kind of put into the game and like just the whole package that they provide for you. Um, it's done really well, it plays really well, and it's a ton of fun. I highly encourage you guys to check out Tech Wars once it releases here in just a few, or on the 21st. But aside from that guys, if you have any other questions about the game, let us know down in the comments. And we will see you guys next time. I hope you have a wonderful day.